we know, Roblox Doors does have many interesting world records. From the fastest time completing the game, to even the fastest time of finding a crucifix, but with a new Doors Hotel Plus update, even more records are now being released. These are impossible Doors Hotel Plus world records. Think you can beat these? Comment down below and you better like and subscribe or else you'll never beat Doors ever again. Of course, we do have to head over to speedrun.com as this is the official site for many of the game's official records. We do have to start off with the crucifix, one of the rarest and useful items within the whole entire game. We have seen a video where the crucifix was found as early as door 1, but the world record was way faster than that. Third place for finding the crucifix is currently held by Completo, finding the item officially in just 14.86 seconds, also within room 1. Second place does go to dude named Drew, who was able to run across the crucifix over a second faster at 13.03 seconds, but who was able to gather this magical item the fastest within the entire game. Well, that honor goes to none other than Saved, who found the crucifix in just 12.883 seconds within floor 1. Not bad at all for an official world record. Many players generally obtain the skeleton key within Jeff's shop, even though it does take 15 plus minutes in order to get to that room. Some players are lucky to find a spawn key within chests, but the third fastest world record for the skeleton key is held by HD Vincent, who is able to find it in room 4 at 31.65 seconds. Second place does go to Flashden, who was also able to find the key at door 4 on top of a table in 29.9 seconds. But Storms does take the checkered flag by finding the key just at door 3 in 24.38 seconds. That is some insane luck right there, but it does seem pretty impossible to find this infamous key before door 3 as of now. As for the candle within Roblox doors, the item is generally less rare compared to its counterparts, but you'd be surprised how long it takes for some of these record breakers to find one. For third place, Sparzik was able to find the candle right at door 3, chilling on top of a table in 20.93 seconds. Second place does go to dude named Drew once again, who also found a candle right within door 3 in 20.48 seconds. But what about first place? Were they able to find the candle right at door 2? Well nah. They found it at door 3 once again, but this was the fastest at just 20.02 seconds, making it the fastest candle time ever recorded and submitted. But enough about the items, man. What about the fastest time for finding specific new entities added into the doors update? Well, let's start off with Dupe being one of the more randomly generated entities. Many players do run into this entity rather later into the game, but King Mancho for third place was able to run into dupe at 24.73 seconds right inside door 3. Notice that they have to find the wrong door on purpose as well. There's no time for second chances in here. A familiar name dude named Drew shows up again for second place, this time netting 23.86 seconds also at door 3, but super speedy as the name implies was able to find dupe in just 23.76 seconds. And you guessed it, at door 5 as well. Notice a reoccurring pattern we have with this particular door, but this time we're heading into the rooms, especially dealing with one of the newer entities, A-60. Unfortunately, not many people have submitted damage runs for the entity as Ethan Bishop 3 logged in a counter time of over 4 minutes 35 seconds, which seems about average. Improve was able to log second place much faster at roughly 3 minutes and 18 seconds, which is a lot more of a respectable time. But you wouldn't believe what first place ended up getting. The official world record for A-60 is held by Cybe W with a time of 1 minute and 51 seconds right at door A-26. There might be a faster time for the entity out there, but you guys gotta submit them in order to be officially ranked. As much as we hate A-90, the entity didn't really get any submissions at all over at the speedrun rankings. 
as deserved, loser. But their counterpart, A-120, did, and boy, did some of these submitters have to rage in order to get here and compete. Admiru was able to log third place for A-120 at a time of 10 minutes and 59 seconds, way past the entity's supposed door at room A-151. Second place does go to Andrew Wayne 12 for finding A-120 in a cool 9 minutes and 30 seconds as well, this time at room A-130. Considerably faster than the previous, but the winner Gabs Nin was able to squeeze past by netting an official time of 9 minutes 28 seconds, also finding A-120 at room A-131. It was a well fought duel, but there can only be one winner. But now for the records you've been waiting for. Some of the major main game time records. The bronze fourth place record holder for beating the brand new Dwarf Hotel Plus update without the use of the item shop does indeed go to Speediest, who was able to beat the game in just 14 minutes and 35 seconds. This was one of the fastest runs as they generally took a lot of short corners around turnarounds and were very aggressive with the figure at rune 50, crouching very minimally. Third place is held by Flash Dance beating the update in just 14 minutes and 36 seconds and they were one of the first speedrunners to show that the electrical key door could be opened with just the use of a lockpick. Very goaded run in all showing the player's skill within the game. Second place does go to Groos, the former world record holder is back again, this time beating the update in 14 minutes 33.58 seconds, also utilizing the lockpick trick and being super aggressive with figures at room 100. But Pezzy, an American door speedrunner, does take it all with the official time of 14 minutes 33.13 seconds, barely beating Groose by less than a second. Extraordinary gameplay skills and awareness has helped Pezzy reach this top honor within the game. As for the ultimate speedrunning competition, beating Vroom's 0 to 1000 is going to be quite the fun competition. 4th place does go to Matthew Burr, who was able to beat the game in 1 hour and 30 minutes, which is honestly just insane. It usually takes normal players 2, maybe even 3 hours, but Matthew nearly had their run ended, especially 58 and a half minutes into their run. 3rd place does go to Axie, who was able to beat rooms in 1 hour and 29 minutes, and they did so without taking any damage at all. 2nd place is held by the Korean player Survivor V20 notching an official time of an hour and 27 minutes, also without any damage at all. But again, there can only be one winner folks, the wretched player Olivka. They beat the entirety of the rooms in just 1 hour and 26 minutes, making them the fastest player to beat the secret game floor. Do you think you could beat these? Like and subscribe and take care.